Okay, so that's Toby Max everything. And I'm gonna show you uh, the rhythm guitar part for it today. So I'll go ahead and uh, run through the chords. So we have the chord G, so we have G, B, D. And that, that'll look like a D to you, but if you listen in the room, the bass is playing a B. So it's a B minor 7. So let me uh, go through the fingerings here. We have third finger on the fifth fret G of the D string, second finger on the fourth fret B of the G string, first finger on the third fret D of the B string. So it's going to look and sound like that. And then you're going to slide up here. So you have your third finger barring the seventh fret on the D, G, and B string. And we're going to talk a little bit about string muting when you're playing a chunky rhythm guitar like this. So really a lot of times your pick is going to go ahead and strike all the strings, but you've got <clears throat> the strings you don't want to hit muted. So, for example, that you can you can kind of see that my uh, third finger is bent a little bit. Like I've got it like that versus completely straight. So if you're just starting out, that that may take you a little while to get used to. That's normal. So you're gonna have it bent up a little bit so that you're not pushing down on. The E string, 7th fret. And then, on the other side of things, muting the, uh, the E and the A string, you can kind of see my third finger is just barely touching that A, A string. You can kind of hear the harmonic of it. And then uh, I use my thumb. Not everybody does. You could, on this form, you could just use your first finger laying gently over the E and A string. So right there, I'm hitting all the strings. Okay. Alright, so that's your uh, B minor 7 form right there. Leaving the root out. I'm going to let the basses play that. Then we're going to hit the A. So I've got my third, this is just like your G form. Up, little step. So you've got your third finger on the 7th fret A on the D string, your 2nd finger on the 6th fret C sharp on the G string, and your 1st finger on the 5th fret E on the B string. So just like that. And you can kind of see how I'm muting it. My 1st finger is lightly touching the E string, so it's muted, and then my thumb comes around in style and uh, mutes the E string and the A string. Let's see. And then you go to the uh, F sharp minor 7. So the way that works is 1 flat 3 flat 7. You know, if you're thinking of F sharp. So you have your third finger on the fourth fret D. You have your first finger on the second fret A on the G string, and you have your pinky on the fifth fret E on the B string. So it's going to look and sound like this. And then back to the G. Alright, so take it kind of slow. Now let me drop this camera down so you can look at what my right hand is doing. So 
kind of tell you have to play it hard enough to get the right intensity to get um, that tone. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, I don't think I showed you how I was muting strings on this F sharp minor 7 chord. So, with your third finger, you're going to lay that gently across the E and the A strings. That's, you know, the muting is really important as far as like how you're going to be able to strike it with enough intensity to get the, the real funky sound you're looking for. It looks a little funky, probably at first, but that's just muting. And then um, the E string is muted by both the first finger and the fourth finger in your left hand. You can kind of see how the, the first finger is laying across the E string. And then the fourth finger also uh, just barely touches the E string, so. That's Toby Max Everything, and if you don't play it like that, you're not even equipped to play your grandmother's ice cream social at the local church gathering.